In Brussels, expressions of solidarity for Ukraine are a daily occurrence. Many are affected by the situation. My family, my brother, my sister, my cousins, my mom, my dad, who are now pensioners, they are all now in Kyiv, where it is extremely dangerous. With one of my friends who is closer to the Hostomel military airport, I lost my connection two days ago. All my friends are still in Kharkiv, all the close ones, and I'm just um, yeah, trying to organize evacuation um, for them, but it's not always possible because that it's not evident what is uh, safer for them to stay in the basement or to flee. I'm not Ukrainian. I don't have family directly in Ukraine, so I'm lucky enough to not be um, directly personally affected. But I do feel very anxious every day. I wake up and I'm like, what has happened to our neighbors, to our friends in Ukraine? Um, and it's been lasting a few days. I feel that I have to be here because I feel that our destiny is being decided here in those buildings. Protesters outside the European Parliament are often joined by MEPs. I think so far Europe has done quite a good job in being quite united in its response, which is very important for me, um, and I think that that is positive. The priority is to see how we can help to organize the welcome of the refugees, Ukrainian uh, women and children and old people coming in uh, Europe, how we can help the people helping them. There's a lot of positive uh, initi initiatives going on and now we have to see how also from, let's say, a more governmental level we can ensure that this is helped. I do hope that politicians will find a solution and I see them acting very fast. I see them acting very fast, so I just hope that they will continue doing that because in the end there is hope. We are from different political views. We might have, we might, we might not agree on 99% of the issues. I mean, that's the, the, that this is the beauty of democracy. But at the same time, on this issue alone, we are all united. The future remains uncertain, with much depending on solidarity between people as well as nations. Я очень хочу, чтобы меня услышали русские граждане, которые, ну, имеют сердце, душу и которые а могут просто посмотреть, посмотрите просто видео, которое снимают обычные люди. By every small bit, small things matter. This is a long, hard battle, but we're gonna win it only if we are together on all fronts possible.